I used to use it for painting, you can see. Uh, but this is the uh, bag I use when I go to the camper. Or, you know, if I'm traveling, I just throw it in, um, in my car, you know, in case of an emergency. So, uh, let's see what's uh, inside here. Alright, in this main compartment here, in this big compartment, I have a shovel. So it comes in two pieces. Just, uh, whoops, that's backwards. So it just hooks together like this. You can have it here, or you can have it, uh, you know, shorter if you want. So it's pretty neat, folds down. And just goes right in the bag. This is what I use also to shovel off the pop-up camper. It's plastic, so that it doesn't hurt the uh, the roof, you know. Now the next thing we're gonna find in here, uh, this is just the um, crank to pop up the pop-up camper. It's not really a survival uh, uh, item, but uh, you'll need it when you go to the camper, right? All right. Here we go, and here we have a lighter, always handy to have. Uh, one word of advice, or one piece of advice I should say, is uh, don't cheap out on these lighters. I bought them from the dollar store, and you might as well just go out and buy a good one like this. And then, uh, you know, you won't have any troubles lighting or whatever. All right, let's see what we have in here next. All right, we have some uh, candles here. Five candles. And you see from the dollar store, only a buck twenty-five, so a pretty good deal. You know, these are good for uh, you know, lighting, even heat. You know, candles can heat up uh, inside of a car, or inside your pop-up camper, pretty pretty quick. All right, so there we go. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, here we go. Duct tape. It's always good to have. This is also from the dollar store, I believe. And you know, if you really want to get some heat going or some light, you can just duct tape all of these five candles together and just light them all at the same time, you know, and use it as one big, uh, one big torch. I think that's it for inside the big compartment. No, here we go, extra pair of socks. So, you know, if your feet get wet or you need to light a fire or God knows what. Just have a pair of socks in there. All right, so let's check in this side compartment here. And uh, so you can see I wrap up uh, all my uh, uh, items like this in a Ziploc bag. It keeps the, the humidity out, you know, controls the humidity better when you have things wrapped up. So here we go. I have a pack of these hand warmer things. These are always handy. They work well, right? And then uh, also have some uh, some face wipes and some uh, wet ones. You know, wiping your hands, cleaning, whatever. And then uh, some rubber gloves. You never know when you're going to need rubber gloves, especially you know cleaning the mice, uh, the mouse traps out of the trailer or what have you. So I'll put that all back in that bag. And uh, that's it for that pouch. Now let's see what's in this pouch here. Ah, uh, this is a Tupperware um, full of um, extra peanut butter. Uh, you know, if you need it when you go to the camper, if you need to reset your traps and uh, this has been in here for a long time and still smells fresh, so it lasts a long time. So, and you know, if you really, really need it and you're stranded in your car, you can eat it too. So, and here we go, some hydrogen peroxide, just in case you get a cut or you need it for your, you know. Um, I don't have a first aid kit in my bag, which I'm planning on getting, but uh, it's good to have a bottle of this and a first aid kit. Let's see what else we have in here. Oh. These are the keys for the camper. I got to make a copy of these. That just I just reminded myself. Um, yeah, you want to make a copy because if I lose these, I can't get into my pop-up or use it. So, all right, 
Now let's get into this middle bag here. Again, keeping everything in uh, a big Ziploc bag. So it uh, keeps the moisture out and the humidity. Here we go, more matches in case the lighter doesn't work. Buck 25 at the dollar store. Whoops, I'll show you how well they work. Look at that, beautiful, buck 25. It's pretty neat, right? Uh, but as I said, uh, if you keep them in this bag here, it uh, keeps the moisture out better and the humidity, so do that. And then here I have a headlamp. I actually picked this up at the dollar store and uh, they work really well. Uh, just give a little demonstration here. I think this is the one. So this just pops off like this. Also, it's a good idea to keep your batteries uh, out of the units while you're not using them so the you know you don't have a leak or anything uh, No, this isn't the right one here. Here we go Here we go There we go I paid four bucks for this at the dollar store Okay, and then you just click on the side here. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And you got three settings. Oh bright and then brighter and then the brightest is the third one I mean for four bucks it's pretty good put it on your head you know while you're working so we'll take the battery back out of this here and put this cap back on here this is just another LED light uh, this one you can attach to your baseball cap you know like this also good for working on your head of course this is a lot brighter uh, and then the last thing is a flashlight, another LED flashlight. I got this from the dollar store as well for four bucks. I'll show you guys how it works. And let me tell you, for four dollars, it's pretty good. It is very bright. There we go. <clears throat> and then you just uh, look at that, look at that baby. That's really bright. Look at that, right? For four bucks. I mean, that's gonna light up. Uh, has 14 LEDs, I believe. Anyway, we'll get the batteries back out of that. And then I have uh, the last thing in here is just an extra battery. Uh, uh, but you know, for your uh, flashlights and that, you'll want to get some good batteries, not dollar store batteries. Uh, I believe. Then in here, of course, I have some. Uh, keep your beer cold or your drinks cold. Those come in handy if you're lost or at the camper. And then lastly, I just have some. Uh, I have some. Uh, just some uh, pads here cotton pads you know in case you need to, if you have a cut or you have a, for the to use with the uh, hydrogen peroxide if you get uh, if you get uh, cut or whatever so all that goes back in there all right guys that's it for uh, that uh, this video thanks for tuning in uh, please leave some comments below what you have in your survival kit and uh, please subscribe until next time.